different languages, tongues, as the Spirit kept giving them clear and loud expressions in each tongue in appropriate words. Now there were then residing in Jerusalem Jews, devout and God-fearing men from every country on the heaven. And when the sound was heard, the multitude came together, and they were astonished and bewildered, because each one heard them, sorry, each, each one heard them, the apostles speaking in their particular dialect. And they were besides themselves with amazement, saying, I are not all these who are talking Galileans. And then at one stage they were thinking that, that um, they were drunk and they wanted to make fun of them, but it was their um, Holy Spirit. That's why we must not mock God. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, he shall reap. But we need the um, anointing of God so that we can fulfill the call of God on our lives, so that we could minister effectively to each other for signs and wonders to follow the preaching of the gospel. Jesus was baptized with the Holy Spirit. The servant is not greater than his Lord, so we must do the same. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, e even Saul, when he was anointed by um, Jesse to become king, he became like a new man and God gave him a new heart. Hallelujah. When he, he uh, received the Holy Spirit and he spoke differently. Let's have a look at 1 Samuel chapter 10 verses 9 to 11. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verses 9 to 11. So we need to minister from the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. Praise God, because all scripture is given by God and is for doctrine, for correction, for instruction, that the man of God is for correction, for reproof, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Hallelujah. We give God honor and we give God glory. Lord, you are so good. You are so wonderful. First Samuel chapter 10, comments in verse 9. And when Saul had turned his back to leave Samuel, God gave him another heart. And all these signs came to pass that day. And they came to the hill of Geba. Behold, a band of prophets met him, and the Spirit of God came mightily upon him, and he spoke on the divine inspiration among them. Verse 11. And when all who knew Saul before saw that he spoke by inspiration among the schooled prophets, the people said one to another, What has come to him? who is nobody but the son of Kish, is Saul among the prophets? So they were amazed because um, Paul, he, I mean Saul, <laughs> he was, um, he became like a different person because God gave him a new heart. God can change hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. For those of you who are believing for the salvation of your loved ones, don't stop believing. Hallelujah. One of the same answered, who is the father of the others? So it became a proverb, is Saul among the prophets? So he spoke differently, he conducted himself differently. Praise God. So when, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, or when you're anointed by the Holy Spirit, you become a, a new person. Your ministry is stronger. Your um, influence when you minister to people is stronger. In the past, you may have laid hands on the sick and nothing was re nothing was happening. No one was recovering. Hallelujah! But you you can get the gifts of the Spirit, gifts of he gift of healing, words of mir word of mir I mean, working of miracles, <laughs> word of knowledge, interpretation of tongues, discerning of spirits, and all these wonderful gifts you can operate in when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. You'll become bolder. We give God honor and we give God glory. Even um, David, you know, when the Spirit of God came mightily upon him, he, he was able to do great things and he was already um, filled with the Holy Spirit when he was able to kill the bear and the lion with his bare hands. Praise the name of Jesus. He had power. He was endued by the power of God on high. Hallelujah. And he had supernatural strength and ability. Because remember, the anointing is God's enabling power for you to do the humanly impossible, for you to do great exploits for God, for you to win souls for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Even um, well, Saul, he later on, he became disobedient and the spirit of God departed from him and an evil spirit came upon him. I know the scripture said a um, spirit, an evil spirit from God came upon him. But um, I believe that's some form of mistranslation. 
Hallelujah. Because a house divided against itself will fall. It, it, it cannot stand because every good and perfect gift comes from God and God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither does he tempt any man with evil. So um, Satan is not God's messenger man. So God is the Holy Spirit because he's a tripart being. As I said, we have God, the Father, God, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And Satan is not his messenger boy. So where is God going to get evil spirits from? There's no evil in God. He's a good God and I'm going to prove it. To you hallelujah so we give god honor and we give god glory so when um saul he lost his anointing through um disobedience because he did did not destroy king agag praise god and all of the spoil but he kept everything that was good and king agag alive and um the spirit of god departed from him and god regretted that he had ever made saul from saul king and an evil spirit, but the spirit of the Lord departed from him and an evil spirit came upon him. Let's have a quick look at 1 Samuel 16. Praise the name of Jesus. I think verse 14. Let's have a look at that. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord, which I don't believe it was from the Lord. I'm sure this is a mistranslation, as I said tormented and troubled him so um let's go to you can hold your place there first samuel 16 i'm hoping to come back there but let's go to james 1 17 because every good and perfect gift comes from god so where is he getting this evil spirit from because god is the trinity god the father jesus the son and the holy spirit i know i'm repeating myself and there's no evil with god god cannot be tempted with evil neither does he tempt anyone with evil Every good, James 1, 17, every good and perfect, free, large, full gift is from above. It comes down from the Father of all that gives light, in shining of whom there can be no variation, rising or setting or shadow cast by his turning as in an eclipse. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now let's back up a few verses. Verse 13, James 1, 13. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted from God. For God is incapable of being tempted by what is evil, and he himself tempts no one. So he's not going to give Saul an evil spirit so that he can do evil, because God is a good God. He's a wonderful God. But every person is tempted when he is drawn away, enticed, and baited by his own evil desire. So um, Saul was baited by his own evil desires when he didn't destroy what um, Samuel commanded him to destroy. He didn't destroy King Agag and he kept the spoils, all the best of the spoils. Praise God. And that evil spirit came upon him, but it was not from God. Hallelujah. And baited by his own evil desires, lust, passions. Then he... Then the evil desire, when it has been conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully matured, brings forth death. Now, let's go to um, Mark 3.25, which is proving my point. Because um, God is a good God. Praise God. He is. The Holy Spirit is, the, is a part of God, the third part of the Trinity. So he's not going to be having good and evil spirits. God is a good spirit. He is the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. And a house divided against itself cannot stand. It will fall. God is not going to work against himself. He's good all the time. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not filling people with good, with um, with the Holy Spirit. And then the next minute he's filling them with evil spirits. It's not coming from God. It's just the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is the riches of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So because um Saul sinned and, and then the evil spirit came upon him hallelujah but it didn't come from god because every good and perfect gift comes from god hallelujah mark i think is what did i say i think it's mark 325 holy spirit we ask you for your help praise the name of jesus okay we'll start from verse 24 and if a kingdom is divided and rebelling against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided, split into factions and rebelling against itself, that house will not be able to last. So we give God honor and we give God glory. So every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. 
So we bless God and we give God honor and we give God glory. So I've proven to you that that evil spirit did not come from God because God is not double-minded. Hebrews 13, 8 tells us he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible also tells us no good thing with God withhold from those who walk uprightly. So if his good is coming from God, if his evil is coming from the devil, the devil does not work from God, for God. Hallelujah. So um, I said David was able to kill the bear and the lion with his bare hands. Hallelujah. When he was um, filled with his Holy Spirit. So we give God honor and we give God glory. We even have uh, um, the situation with Samson. Hallelujah. When he um, disobeyed God and he told the liar the, the secret to his strength was in his hair. And when they, um, they cut off the locks, his enemies cut off the locks from his hair, he lost his, appoint his anointing and he became weak like a natural man. Let's have a look at Judges 16, verses 15 to 21. Hallelujah. The yeah, anointing of God is important and it, and it helps us. Hallelujah. To do the ministry of God, to do the will of the Father. Judges 16. If people play with fire, they will get burnt. Praise the name of Jesus. Judges 16, verses 15 onwards. And she said to him, this is um, Delilah, Delilah speaking to, hallelujah, she, she was speaking to Samson. And she said to him, how can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me in what your what your great strength lies. So she was just a deceiver. She was just using him. She wanted to know where his strength lies so she can um, reveal the secret to his enemy and he could be stripped of his anointing. So that's why we, sh we should not be unequally yoked. He should have never um, been involved with that kind of a woman. Praise the name of Jesus. And when she pressed him day after day with the words and urged him, he was vexed to death. And he told her, and he told her all his mind and said to her, a razor has never come upon my head for I have been a Nazarite to God from my birth. If I am shaved, then my strength will go from me and I shall be weak and be like any other man. So that's how important the anointing of God was on his life, you know, when, when his head wasn't shaved and he was obeying God, it was okay. He was strong, he was powerful, and he could do all these wonderful things. Praise God. And Delilah, Delilah saw that he told her all his mind, and she went and called for the Philistine lords. What kind of wife is that, isn't it? She certainly wasn't the Proverbs 21 wife. Praise God. She, she was an evil, well, she wasn't his wife anyway. So she was an evil woman anyway, praise God, because he had married the other woman before, praise God. And she went and called for the Philistines' Lord, saying, Come up this once, for he has told me all he knows. Then the Philistines' Lords came to her, and she brought the money, sorry, and brought the money in their hands. So they gave her money, you know, she was getting paid for um, betraying, Samson, betraying um, Samson, praise the name of Jesus. And she made Samson sleep upon her knees. You know, that, that that's why you must depart from the evil woman. Don't let them lure you into their beds, praise God, because their ways is hell. And once you get into that pit, you can't get out of it. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't be lusting after people who are not of your own faith. Be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. So she um, had Samson to fall asleep on her knees. And she called a man and caused him to shave off the seven braids of his head. Then she began to torment Sam Sam Samson. Praise God. And his strength went from him. And she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. And he woke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as I have time after time and shake myself free. For Samson did not know that the Lord had departed from him. So when God's anointing departed from him, became weak as a natural man. 
But the Philistines lay hold of his of him, bored out his eyes, and brought him down to Gaza, and bound him with two bronze fetters, and he ground at the mill in the prison. So uh, people become weak when they don't have the anointing of God. Praise the name of Jesus. They're strong like David and bow like a lion when they have the anointing of God. So um, Samson, he shouldn't have disobeyed. He, he shouldn't have been unequally yoked. He shouldn't have been hanging out with this woman, Delilah, who was his enemy. Praise the name of Jesus. So um, you need the anointing so you can um, win souls for the kingdom of God, so you can heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, so you can not only do the works of God, but do greater works of God. And when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes along and he gives people gifts as he pleases. You may have a word of prophecy, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, but we may be able to go into those teachings another day. So Father God, we thank you for speaking to us in such a powerful way. Lord, I pray that we will take away everything that we have learned and take it into our everyday life and that we will use the anointing that you've given us to serve others and not to be about me, myself and I. I pray that you will bless the people, cover them with your blood, supply all their needs according to your riches and glory. If any is sick, I pray that you will heal them. Any unsaved, I pray that you will save them, Lord, and their relatives. You promise salvation down to a thousand generations, and we trust you for it, and we believe you for it, and we give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said amen and amen. So thank you so much for watching. Those of you who are liking and sharing, I bless you. I thank you so much. Have a great day until we meet again. Be blessed. Goodbye.